Welcome to the Backyard Garden Tour for January 2021. This is a Carolinian forest and it's Hardiness Zone 5B. It's in Southern Ontario, Canada. And this is the continuing story of my garden around my house in the wintertime. Everything's asleep. The snow is crisp, not too deep. We've had pretty good weather recently, other than a little bit of cold. Only, it's only about minus six degrees Celsius. But the weeping pine tree here looks like it's falling over, but that's the way it grows. And the mugo pine which is only supposed to grow a couple of feet off the ground, has decided to reach for the heavens. And the weeping mulberry that I trimmed, looks like it has a brush cut, will come back with a vengeance in the spring. And those branches will reach right down to my driveway. Not much action. The euonymus bush, it's been trimmed. The beauty bush, it's been trimmed. It's asleep. The larch tree, or the tamarack, call it whatever you want. It's asleep. It's producing its little cones everywhere, which will fall. The lilac bush is asleep with its balls hanging on it. All asleep. Guarded by Our Lady. and my shrunken coconut head. By the way, these rocks are petrified wood, little shiny cubes that I found in New Brunswick along the coast. And I put them in this piece of fisherman's cage that I found in the same spot. Aren't they beautiful? Petrified wood. It's icy, but I don't. I come out here every day, and I, I don't. I'm not um, walking too fast, so I, I don't think I'm gonna slip. You're right. The birch tree. Remember, that's the tree that produces the aspens that you take when you need need them because you have a headache. There's my baby white pine, my weeping cedar. That's the one, that tall thing with the gangly looking branches. That's the one that has a very shallow root system. So when there's a wait, a windstorm, that could blow over, even though it's giant. I had one on the other side of the house, about that size, that blew right over in a windstorm. Right out of the ground, the wind picked it up. The squirrels are active today. There's lots of them around here because I have a lot of bird feeders and they love to eat. They jump from branch to branch. There's gray ones and black ones. There's my feeders up there on the porch close to the windows. I'm trying to hang them so that the squirrels can't eat everything. Like they try to push them down so that they break and then the, ski, the seeds spread over the ground and then they eat them all. But I've got it pretty well secured now. The birds come, but they only come around three times a day to have their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then they're, they're sleeping in the trees. There's another feeder. I get most of my feeders at the thrift store. People throw them out. 
I repair them and then I fill them up with really good seeds for the birds and the squirrels. And they get a good dinner out of those seeds throughout the winter. These two pole contraptions here, I put a pipe in the ground that had a hole in it. And then this pole I found at a garage sale, put my bird feeder on top. The pots are like that so that the squirrels are deterred from climbing up the pole. They, they look at that and they go, well, I don't know about this. And then they go back down, which is good. So they're either talking to me and saying, get out of the way, I want to come and eat. Or that black squirrel there is looking for its mate. And the mate's over there and the gray, the gray squirrel's over there coming this way. And there's another one up there. But that's probably the boy looking for the girl. See, there's two of them up there having fun chasing each other. There's at least 10 or 20 around here. And the Buddha guarding the garden. And let's see how the compost is doing down here. I still take my vegetables and my fruit that I, or scraps, I take them out here every day and I dump them. My potato scraps and stuff, egg scraps. And they're like that because I can't dig them under, but they'll rot. And if it gets a little bit mild this winter, the uh, raccoons and the skunks will come and eat that. The nice crisp Saturday morning here. A little bit of art hanging from there. A bunch of brushes all tangled together. That's art to me. It reminds me that art is important. Yes, it's COVID time here in Ontario, Canada, and we're in gray lockdown. There's too many people that are walking around either with no mask and hanging around in large groups because they're frustrated and lonely. And the COVID numbers are rising. So the government's gonna keep us in lockdown. So when it snows, I shovel this driveway and the steps and all the way around the back of the house and get it as clean and as clear as I can. And I put salt down if I have to or sand so no one slips. But there hasn't been any snow for at least a week. So this is what's left from last week's blizzard that we had. And yes, there will be snow. So, this is January. See you in February.